But let's get in to our first semifinals. I'm gonna go ahead and change the title now that that series is over, and then we can just we can just do it. We just pop on in, spawning in the lower right hand corner of Nightshade. In the blue, playing Terran. It is time. Member of the XY fans clan, which I think Scarlet is in as well. And his opponent in the upper left hand corner, the red Terran player for Dragon Phoenix Gaming. Cure. got ourselves a monster of a tvt here i'm hoping this one goes the distance i think we'll have a a good series oh you guys in chat seeing the mustache for the first time it's always fun when you guys pop in during a uh, during a cast and don't catch the mustache it's fun times what have you done what have you done with the real chicken man Man, sometimes Chicken Man gotta rock that mustache, you know? That's gonna be Factory before CC here out of Cure. Time going for just a Reaper expand, it looks like. Interesting. This SCV just hanging out over here. Oh, it looks like the Reaper is gonna find it. Cheeky Reaper heading over here. Nice spot from time. Couple chip shots before Cure joins up with the SCV and Reaper. Cure probably gonna be keeping the pressure on. Reaper versus Reaper battles. Who's gonna win? Ooh, Cure gets the SCV kill, delays the command center while he starts his own back at home. But time second Reaper comes out. He has a Hellion on the way as well. Cure could move up with the Reaper Hellion combo. He does have to be a little careful, but maybe he can grab this SCV. Cheeky SCV kill number two here. This Cure dives in and dips out. Third SCV comes down to finish the CC. Can you imagine being this third SCV? You're like, oh, I thought uh I thought you already sent Bob and Jim down there. Meanwhile, Time's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Bob, Jim, they were down there. They're dead now. And he's like, um, but won't I just die too? No, nah, no, nah, you're good. Come on, Steve. Come on down. Steve's like, whew, whew, okay. Finishes up the CC. Starts mining, and he's like, please don't let me die. Please don't let me die. Oh, my God. You're pushing up this ramp. A bit of a bold move, but getting a fantastic trade to start things off. Oh, pulling this Hellion back as well. It finally goes down to the Marines. Two Reapers left alive. All right, Hellion comes out. Now it's just one Reaper versus one Hellion. Is Kier gonna win that fight? SCV comes off to repair. Two more Marines come down the ramp. And it looks like things have stabilized a little bit. Time is a couple of SCVs down. Remember, Bob and Jim. May they rest in pieces. Cure continuing to push across though. He's got Marines and now a Cyclone out. He knows it's gonna be a little bit before this Cyclone comes out for time. But the Medivac will help keep these Marines alive for a little bit longer. He could lift up and drop the Hellions in some cheeky micro if he wanted to. Oh, there he goes, lifts it up, breaks the lock on. The Reaper goes down and I think Cure He's gonna have to stop with the aggression. Oh, he spots the medevac going out though. Oh, he's gonna try to go intercept it. He's gonna try to intercept it. All right, units being dropped out. Cyclone targets onto the medevac. The medevac boosts away. Oh, but he runs into another cyclone. All right, actually, time winning this fight right now. All right, eh, kind of an even trade. I think if that medevac hadn't gone down, it would have been an even trade. Well, let's take a look at the resources lost, the units lost, is in Cure's favor. And back at home, he's got Ravens coming out, tanks coming out, Marines coming out. Same can be said, of course, of his opponent, Time, who has all of those as well. Third CC starting up for Time before Cure's. I don't see one on the minimap or in the production tab.
So we have just a uh, just a bit of a passive moment here, but third CC starts up for Cure on location. So it's a little later, but should come out to about the same. Raven gets away. Oh, and the auto turret gets yet another kill. Oh, gets a third one. One of those must not have been an SCV though. Two SCVs and maybe a Marie? Who knows? Cure pushes out and sieges up way out here. This is like mid-map siege up. Another auto turret comes in. Doesn't get any kills though. Too bad for Cure. Time CC finishes up, he's gonna warp it into an orbital. An orbital command. I'm not really sure what Cure is doing down here. He's just chilling for now. He's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna hold this position. Time has no idea that that position is being held. It's not affecting him in the least. <laughs> Cure is gonna scan and start moving forward and try to take a strong position at this third base and delay that CC from getting down there as long as possible. His just finished and is turning into an orbital, orbital as well. He's preparing up that Raven because he cares about his units, unlike some Terrans I know. Up a tree Zelda, anybody? Come on. He treats his units like he treats his subs. He'll just he'll just keep them in his base and stim them until they're all in the red and can't stim anymore. And then he'll look out at it, Twitch chat and go, that's you guys. This is how, I, if I could, I would do this to every single one of you. And he's talking to his subs. It's just rude, really. I, I don't know how to feel about it, but you know, we all keep coming back month after month. Time lands his third at the more forward location here. I think it's going to be the quicker base to take. Kyo's going to start pushing in, but uh, see some tanks. He's going to have to siege up. Oh, these tanks just skirting by. Uh oh, moment of lag there. Hopefully that wasn't us. It hasn't been us so far, and I haven't dropped any frames yet. But we'll see. Time trying to find where Cure is. Cure trying to run away. Oh, oh, he's spotted. <gasps> There's enough interference matrix. Oh, no, what a terrible spot for some lag. He's going to go for the anti-armor missile. Cure siege is up. Auto turret's going down here. Oh, man, Cure losing a ton of army. He's heading into the main base. He's gonna try to do some counter damage, but look at that. Loses tanks, loses marines. Some auto turrets going down here. Try to take out some SCVs. Vikings landing. Oh, Cure eats another anti-armor missile. Time is still moving forward. Cure is completely on siege. He's gonna lose one tank. And time is on his doorstep with four siege tanks, a group of marines, and the vikings. Cure is still in the main base, but he can only do so much. Well, the land of vikings are gonna die here, actually. All right, Cure doing a nice job in the main, killing a lot of workers, but time is about to start killing workers as well. Oh, he's focused down that siege tank. Oh, he gets it. Loses a lot of vikings for it, but he gets it. And 11 of Cure's SCVs have now fallen as well. Finally, this will all get cleaned up. There's one more auto turret available. Come on, Cure. You can do it. You have 69 energy. Drop the auto turret. Both players losing a ton of workers. Time is actually down quite a few workers at the moment. But this CC is taking damage, and Cure... Okay, he's repairing it now. I was going to say he's not repairing. Looks like he wants to try to hit on the backside. There are four siege tanks here. He has no Raven energy. He could go for a cheeky drop. There's not a ton of anti-air here with this. I think he wants to try to run in. Oh, the unsiege happens. Cure, now is your chance. The Marines get spotted, so time will siege back up. These tanks are in a rough spot. In fact, Cure is going to go for the counterattack. There is a siege tank here. But one is not enough to stop this many Marines. Auto turret going down on the back side here. Forcing some lost mining time. Let's take a look at that income tab. It has been in Cure's favor largely for the last few minutes here. And heavily in his favor right now as he is up a bunch of workers. He kept this base alive, so he is fully saturated mining. 
One, one is finished for both players. I don't think Cure can really push in here, especially since Times Tanks got home. Fourth base is on its way here for Time. Uh, not the case just yet for Cure. No fourth CC going down. Looks like he wants to drop one right now. Oh, Cure taking some big tank hits. Lifts up into the medevac to drop into the main base. Oh, the Vikings run the other way as the main army of Cure is out here. I don't know what it's doing. It's just buying time for this drop to, to fall in. An auto turret in the natural mineral line as well, getting a bunch of SCV kills. Oh, and Cure is multitasking here. Is looking quite nice. Oh, he's going to start targeting down the engineering bays. Nope, pulls back. And we'll just be fighting the units. That medevac's not long for this world. 10 SCVs have gone down, but Cure did trade a lot of units for that, especially losing that. He is moving around, rotating around down to this side. Time is trying to keep up. Oh, that is not a rotation, my friends. That is a doom drop, but the Vikings are here this time. Oh, another bull away. Time was so close to spotting that. Oh my god. Oh my god. And Cure is going to get into the main base with four tanks and a bunch of marines sieging up in a beautiful location. And I think he's just completely outpositioned his opponent here. This is a planetary, so these marines can clean up the siege tanks, but I don't think they have what it takes to take out the planetary. All right, interference matrices going down on two of these siege tanks. Time should be able to clean this up. Kills all the Marines. And gets on top of the tanks before the interference matrices wear off. Cleans all that up. Time is still down in supply as he's losing units down at this third base as well. Oh my god, big anti-armor missile goes down on these units. The Vikings getting absolutely squashed by the Marines. Time is going to siege his tanks up, take some nice tank shots, but Cure is reinforcing time lost production he's losing scvs he's losing units he's down in just about every regard right now he's even down in upgrades as his plus two armor isn't finished for his ground units his marines he loses the third cc and cure is in a fantastic spot to potentially close this game out now time still has some tanks he's still got a planetary at his fourth base cure is just now morphing his into a planetary He's gonna try to clean Cure up here. I think if he can't do this, he might just tap out. Sees another group of units, and there it is. The GG gets called, and Cure takes game number one. It was looking a little hashtag dicey there for our boy Cure. But he was able to clean up the units back at home, hold on to his natural command center, while doing damage on the other side of the map. It was really nice play by Cure to come back into that game because he was definitely down. There's another member of the XY fans clan that time and I think Scarlet are on. And their name in Battle.net is just H H H H H H H H H H H H. Classic. Hey, what's up, Whirly Derby? <clears throat> We're getting into game number two. It's going to be on Eternal Empire. A nice, big, open TVT map. That was a good one. That was a really fun TVT. I love seeing them like that. I hate it when it's like, one person pushes out, it doesn't go well, and the counterattack just kills the other player. Or the push does go well and just kills the player. I hate TVTs like that. I like when they're more back and forth, and it's harder to tell who's going to win. But let's get in to game number two. Where we'll start with our blue Terran player in the top right corner of the map. It is... Time. I'm going to have to check what team he's on. I'm not sure what team Time is on. <laughs> and his opponent in the lower left-hand corner. I know what team he's on. 
Dragon Phoenix Gaming. In the red, it is Cure. Let's go ahead and take a look. What team is time on? I think he was on newbie last time I checked. That was a while ago. Let's take let's, let's take a quick look. I'm. Oh, he's on Kaizi. He's on Kaizi Gaming. Okay, cool. So time is on Kaizi Gaming. So is Bunny, and so is Innovation. Is Kaizi Gaming just like <laughs> the team of top Terrans? Innovation, bunny and time. Also deer and nice. Wow. That's a good group of players, I gotta say. That's a nice group of players to have. Like, I would say nice is probably the weakest, but honestly, he has looked very strong lately. Uh, compared to his normal form. Time hasn't done a ton of... Like, hasn't gotten a ton of great results lately, I feel like. But... Still looking very good. I don't think many players could have pushed Cure to that limit. I'd say Time is still easily a top 10 Terran in the world. Probably top 6, top 7, I would say. I mean, it depends on if you put him ahead or behind of, like, Clem and Hero Marine. Clem has looked very good lately, but it's, it's hard to tell until we have, um, you know, more interaction Especially see how they compare to some of the top guys. Innovations looked very good though, so I'd say Maru Inno still top of the list as far as Terrans go. Clem here, Marine maybe right behind. Ty of course has got to be up there, but time still looking very good. So is Cure. I gotta say these guys, some of my favorite Terrans to watch play. I think they just make really exciting games happen. I kind of missed the, uh, the intro to this game, but it looks like Cure was the one who opened with the Reaper Expand. He's going to have double Hellion production start up here real soon. Time might want to try to get a little cheeky. He's going to jump up here. Cure needs to buy time, but losing units in the meantime. But time takes his wins and just leaves for a minute here these two hellions move out on the map but uh, there's a lot more here for time namely two more reapers cure's got to pull back well, he gets the repair off but the hellion dies anyways and another reaper comes up to join cure's in a little bit of trouble here all right with that shot he should be fine is he gonna chase to get this reaper nope not gonna chase this has bought time time <laughs> to get his natural base up though it's so hard to not have the puns when his name is time I, what do you expect me to do it's like time wants to keep the aggression on siege tank and two marines gonna be heading out in that drop ship the Hellion and Reaper following. They can't all fit in here. But the Hellion and Reaper are very quick, so they'll be all right. All right, Hellion's getting some good shots off to start off with. We can need more than that against the Siege Tank. All right, there is one auto turret available. That's gonna be very key here. Auto turret goes down, and the medevac just picks up and pulls away. SCV's off the line, I think you need to do that. The Marines are all dead. The tank can still try to get some SCV kills, but yeah, it's very low. Gonna have to get on out of there. Nice hold by Cure, I would say. Oh my god, this tank. Look at this tank. That's a cheeky tank. I've never seen a tank this cheeky before. <laughs> Finally leaves as the Cyclone gets out. Time, meanwhile, starts up third CC. Cures is almost finished. Cure being quite greedy this game. Feeling pretty good about game number one. I know Time wasn't able to go to Katowice this year. I was a little sad because I really wanted to see where he was at. 
Siege tank with five kills and 15 hit points. What a badass. Corporal Siege tank. As opposed to recruit. This guy, this fucking recruit over here. Corporal Siege tank showing him how it's done. Kyo wants to try to get some auto turret harass done again, but the cyclone will say no. He'll say, get the hell out of my house. That's true, Sojan. Kaizy Gaming, dear old Kaizy Gaming, will have a nice time <clears throat> getting some innovation done on StarCraft 2. Um, bunny, 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 bunny. I don't know how to fit bunny into that, so we'll just we'll just tack bunny onto the end. It's a cute bunny. I don't know, dude. Maybe Kaizy Gaming needs to get a cute little bunny as their mascot. How about that? And then the bunny pun will work. Oh, no, this raven gets detected. Funny, because it's the detector. Drops its auto turrets, spends its load, and then we'll go await its death. All right, a couple kills. Gets a couple kills. Oh, is it going to kill the Spidey boat? Oh, is time going to repair it? Is time going to repair the Spidey boat? No, he does not get... Oh my god, he gets it. What a badass. Absolute hero. He gets there in time. Ha! Cyclone v. Cyclone. The battle of the century. Who can lock on more? Alright, Cure in the defensive position here as time wants to get something done. Interference Matrix on one of the Ravens, but two of the Siege Tanks get Interference Matrix Seed here. Oh boy. One tank goes down very quickly. Second tank goes down just about as quickly. Oh my god, I can't believe this raven lives. This has seven hit points. This raven is a badass. It's still a recruit, but in my eyes, that's Sergeant Raven. Third base has been routed here for Cure. He doesn't feel that he can hold it right now, so he's pulling back. It's taking a lot of damage, though. The SCVs need to come back and repair. It's being locked on right now. Okay, there's the repair. Cure pushing away those units. Times third base is mining. He is down a few workers still though. Oh man, but he's crushing in. Where are the Marines? Oh my God, they're so far away and the tanks go down. There's no more siege tanks here for Cure. Supplies are even, but that does not tell the story of what's going on right now. Cure has no drops on the other side of the map. He's got nothing. He is repairing these ravens up. Where was, where's our, okay. This raven has two kills. This has got to be our raven. Sergeant Raven, can you save Cure? Time is moving up, taking a nice position, a really nice position as he picks up and drops into the main base with a ton of Marines. What is Cure doing? Cure's waiting. He's waiting, but he's got to go at some point. He's losing so much here. Oh my god, 13 SCVs going down. Time taking that SCV lead. There are the interference matrices going on the backside. Looks like the Ravens will help defend here. All the tanks go down. Sergeant Raven. Three kills now helping to defend there, but 20 SCVs go down and Cure needs to do counter damage, but he doesn't have a supply lead, he doesn't have a an upgrade lead or a better type of army. He's got nothing really. He's got a bunch of Marines and some Medivacs. That's about it. He will be able to plant his third base and start mining again, but time's been doing that for uh, quite a long while here. What is Cure going to do? Turret's going up in the back of this mineral line. A couple Vikings back here as well. He's just going to tag at the front, but he knows he can't really do that. There might be siege tanks around. Cure just trying to set up back at home and get back into this game. I saw two SCVs go down. Oh, it was his Liberator. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Still denying mining time. Seven SCVs going down in total here. And Cure is routed. He's routed on his attack. Cure is in a really tough spot. He's 30 supply down. And I don't see really any way for it to get any better. He's mo moving out again, but he's going to meet Cure. Time's army in the middle of the map, and Time taking a fantastic fight here. Grabs the siege tank on the retreat, and my friends, I think we're going to see Cure tap out here in a little bit. I just don't see any way for Cure to get back into this game. Anti-armor missiles are really nice. Look at how orange that army is. And these marines on, like, negative two armor, but all Time has to do is... Well, bide, bide, bide some time. That's that's all he's got to do. Bide some of himself. He's actually not even going to wait for that to finish up. Grabs a couple of siege tanks. Okay, he takes a really bad fight. But again, is it enough? Doesn't matter. Time's got so so much better mining. If we take a look at the income advantage, the last five minutes or so, it's been heavily in time's favor. He's got air control. He's got more tanks. Uh, the upgrades are even. That's about the best thing I can say here. Although Cure will eventually fall behind as that 3-3 three, three rather is on the way for time. Cure only has plus 3. Uh, now if Cure can clean this up. Oh my god, he's got so many marines though. Maybe he will be okay. He's stemming in from the bottom side. It looks like time's going to win the top. But Cure is going to win the bottom, and I think he still has more Marines. The pickup goes down, and time has to get out of there. And holy shit, the supplies evened up. Only four supply difference now. Cure is chasing out on the map. He's going to be able to grab a couple more of these Vikings, which will help him in the air battle. Time is taking a fourth base, but it's not finished yet. It is not a planetary yet. And suddenly, Cure is back in this game. I don't know how the hell he did it. Time taking a couple of bad fights there, I guess, but... Cure is back, and he's pissed. Not a lot of tanks here for either player. I don't think Cure can fight into this. The Siege Tank and the Planetary say no. But he could move around the top side and try to deny some mining here while he maybe gets his own mining up. Oh, this is Liberator going to get some kills. SCVs pull away, but we know that only works so well. Time sees that he's moving up and around, and we'll set up a really nice defensive position here. You're having a tough time cracking the egg that is time. He is floating a fourth CC up to this north location. Not the one you usually seen taken, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Time seems to be defending very well, so Cure is going to pull back home. He did kill that Liberator. Time is still mining much better than Cure, though. That income is still heavily in his favor, and as such, he has jumped ahead again in supply. Up around 14. At supply up at the moment. Mainly in workers, though. The army supply somehow is still dead even. Um... But we are going to see that plus three armor upgrade come into play here for time. As Cure is just now starting his. All right, big triple marine drop in the back of the natural. Going to start killing SCVs. He could take out this eBay. Or actually, he might just go straight for the command center. He does indeed. And three, three marines stim and crush that. Are there enough marines here for Cure? It looks like it. Loses a few SCVs, but... I think losing that um, that orbital is even more painful. He's going to try to do some damage on the other side of the map. He can take out that tank very quickly. And actually, he could siege up here and take a really nice location above this fourth base. Time's going to have to try to crack this. I think he can, actually. He's stemming in. He's going to hit from both sides. There's only one siege tank here. All he has to do is push the siege tank away, and then his tanks can help keep the marines away. Cure has one siege tank at the moment to the eight of time. 
91 Marines for Cure, though. Look at that. That's insane. How many barracks does he have? Cure is on five barracks and has 94 Marines. That's absolute insanity. And this is why the Marines can't really do the job that Siege Tank was doing. This tank here for time is going to be a little too strong. Time's also set up down here defensively waiting for Cure to try to hit in that multi-prong. Anti-armor missile going down on this group of Marines. While the other group moves in to try to take these siege tanks out. But there's two more sieged up tanks behind that. And the GG gets called. Time takes game number two and ties up the series. One to one. Mm. Beautiful stuff. My goodness. I'm still feeling a little tired. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't want to be tired. We got good video games here. I'm not feeling it during the game because it's too exciting, but we get out of the game and I'm like, ooh, all right, nap time. I only got eight hours of sleep last night. It's not nearly enough. Uh, just waiting for the lobby link for game three. There we are. Oh, oh, son of a bitch. I can't believe I forgot again to submit a replay to Maynard. I have so many good replays I want to send to him. I hate how he does it now. I understand why, but I hate it. Because I always miss it. The sub replay submission for Maynard. Because he does it at midnight while I'm at work and I can't send anything in. And then seven hours later when I get home, I forget. It's all my fault, but I hate it. All right, game number three is live. We are going into Zen. Let's hop on in, shall we? Spawning in the lower left-hand corner, our blue Terran player representing Kaizi Gaming. Time. And his opponent in the upper right-hand corner, the red Terran player, Dragon Phoenix Gaming. Cure. Wow, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> My finger was resting on the backspace button, which goes back and forth between them, and I, I I didn't realize that I was accidentally holding that one down. And so it just kind of, whew. That's, I feel like I need to put up an epilepsy warning in the uh, in the chat. That was a little bit insane. This is cure up here. That last game was super close, super, super intense, but time just took a nice, he had a really nice edge in that game, and while it looked a little close, he just had the better economy. I'm surprised Cure didn't remake more SCVs. I think if he had done that, he could have gotten himself back into the game, but he wanted to just push time. I thought maybe he could break him on what he had, but not quite. Don't worry, Ophiron. I have water as well. I've been drinking water during the cast. I have to, because my mouth gets like a little dried out if I just keep drinking the energy drink and nothing else. So we got some water here. Keep hydrated. Keep the mouth moist. And this Reaper moving down the bottom side, but... So far, both players just gonna open uh, factory before CC. Really, nothing crazy going on. I love the little, the little dish on top of this. 
on top of the factory. Just a cute little dish moving back and forth. This one has it too, but it's a different one. I, I never really noticed that on the factory before, but because this one's a little bit bigger, it's a little bit easier to notice. Oh, it's only when it's producing something. <gasps> Even just producing the tech lab. That's amazing. I wanna see if this stops. Oh, it did. It stopped and these little three trumpet things here stopped as well. Started up again as soon as the cyclone started. That's great, I love it. I love those little things. That's so cute. Barracks has flashing lights for when it's doing stuff. What does the starport have? The starport has that thing in the middle that goes down, right? Yeah, that goes down, and that's how you can tell. Somebody's welding in there. There was some posturing mid-map, but it doesn't look like there was a skirmish. Um, nothing's been lost. Nothing lost, nothing gained. Cure might be starting out with some aggression though. He's got a medevac coming out. Usually if something comes out of the starport without an add-on, you can tell it's gonna be aggressive. Getting that medevac out, a couple of cyclones, marines, hellions, reapers, a hodgepodge of units. Time's got his own cyclones coming out. He's actually going for Banshee. Just a single Banshee, interesting. Ask Maynard for special consideration. Seeing as you're a big streamer, feels big streamer, man. Oh, oh, window meme. Does Cure see it? Nope. Nice Widowmind shot. Splash on the Hellion and on the Reaper. Gets one of those Reapers. Gives its life for it, but what are you gonna do? All right, some SCVs coming off the line. That is not good against the Hellion, though. And the Marines eat some damage there, which is really nice for Cure. Siege Tank gets set up. Which is going to have uh, Cure pull back a little bit. He's going to have to be pulled back here. Medevac killing up those Marines. A couple of SCVs going down. Were they brought with this to repair? I think they must have been. Tries to hit on the other side. He's gonna try to hit this depot. Doesn't get it though. Pushed back by the tank. The rest of the units. Oh, beautiful pickup. But can't pick up anymore. Not healing either. Bit of a back and forth trade here. Time though with a nice cleanup. Gets all those units out of there. And if we take a look at the units lost, resources lost, it's pretty pretty even. Oh, it was that Banshee. That Banshee did something on the other side of the map. Um, but but then it died. So. There you go. Cure's setting up his third on location. Time has his in his base. Both players just making more tanks. We got a Raven coming out of Cure. That might be a second Raven, maybe. Oh, maybe just the first one. All right. He's still trying to put on some pressure here. Oh, no, there is the first Raven. Okay. Getting some SCV kills. No pull from time. Only loses two. Time playing very defensively at the moment. Ooh, Cyclone goes down to that auto turret. That's a nice catch. Raven's gonna have to get on out of there. There are Vikings moving around, but another Raven comes out. This Raven, still a recruit. I don't know how many kills you need to move up from recruit. Cure's third base is already landed. He's gonna start mining from it. He is up in workers this game. Also up in army. He's going to be up even further in workers once he drops the auto turret here. Gets one kill, gets two kills. Three kills and some lost mining time. How frustrating that must be for time. But time still not moving out, still not putting any pressure on of his own. Cure keeping position out here is looking a lot more like game number one. Time now knows that Cure is out here. 
Oh my god, this Raven has eight kills. This is Corporal Raven. Corporal Raven. We gotta salute him. Give him the salute, boys. I just saluted. In real life. Even though you guys can't see, you know what happened. Flair, you should know all about Monster Rehab. It's where they send you for being a monster. And as a cannon rusher, I'm sure at some point somebody will send you there. All right, time's pushing out to the other side of the map. He's trying to get a good position here, but Cure sees it coming and gets a nice concave on top of these siege tanks. Interference matrix on this tank. Not gonna be enough here for time. And Cure cleans Time's army up. Time is down. 16 workers at the moment. He's down a bunch of army spies. Gonna go for a double drop around the top side, but even if that's able to do damage, how is he gonna stop Cure's main push? With what does he hope to stop this push? This small group of six Marines. They don't even have combat shields, for Christ's sake. How can you put them into combat without their shields? It's in the name, goddammit. Kira's gonna find a nice little siege location down here at the ramp. The double drop does get off in the main base. Oh, combat shield's actually gonna be canceled here for Cure. Whereas Times finishes. All right, Time cares more about his Marines, it seems. The SCVs come off the line. The boys are gonna get on top of that siege tank and we'll take it out. Time forced to lift off. Gets a few worker kills. The siege tank still being a bit of a problem. Boosted medevacs gonna hit them though. Trading tanks for tanks, it seems. Oh, actually no. Time keeps his tank alive and kills those tanks. Nicely done. Cure's gonna take another couple of drops. He's got his fourth base about to finish up. Cure's in a fantastic spot this game. Uh, time is gonna have to try to pull it back. Cure trying to get even more worker damage done with his landed Viking. Oh my god. Corporal Viking with five kills, it dies. But it got its work done, three SCVs going down. So far, 18 SCVs have died here for time, although Cure has lost 10, but he's still up 10 at the moment, and he's got another base, it's turning into a planetary. Again, Cure's looking fantastic, he's 20 supply up right now. Upgrade-wise, they're basically dead even. Oh my god, it's actually incredibly close for upgrades. Combat shields will finally get up for Cure, so eventually his marines will actually be able to withstand a tank shot. We have a bit of a passive moment here, as so it looks like Cure doesn't feel like he can get into the base. I think that's why there's a lot of defense up here. There's a sensor tower down here. Up and down, what does it even mean? Oh, I think Cure wants to go for a big old drop, though. Oh, and time is leaving the main base. Oh, boy. Uh, yes, to answer your question, Seal Pup, Monster Rehab is still a thing. It is still a thing. Um, I see it on the shelves. Ooh, Liberator here. No turrets or anything, so that's going to get six SCV kills. Cure dropping a fifth base. There's still no fourth here from Cure. Or from Time, rather. He hasn't gone for that big drop yet, but it feels like he wants to. Time is keeping these Marines in the main base. Four medevacs with them as well, so they're not just easy fodder. That's a, that's a tough army to crack if Cure wants to push in this way. Cure's vision is really nice, though. Like The sensor tower and the vision the supply depot gives. He has total vision of the top side of the map. And his army movement keeps him in the know. He knows where time is. Time is forced to stay at home. He's even struggling to take this fourth base. And it looks like Cure might want to just hit from two directions at once. Oh man, the CC is going down. 2-2 two, two Stim Marines doing a big number. And while time is taking this fight, is Cure going to move in with this army? 
No. He's gonna lose that fight first, and then he's gonna drop in on this army. Oh, he's going straight to the main. Oh my god, he drops one siege tank out to buy himself some time, and then drops the rest in the main. There's only one tank with this, but a lot of marines dropping out. That tank's actually gonna die very quickly. 3-3 three, three gonna get targeted down here, I think. Nope. Cure's just gonna get 10 SCV kills and then trade out army for army. Time taking some decent trades, but he's down so far in worker count. 81 to 54. Look at the income tab here. Cure taking absolute control of the income lead this game. The army supplies are very similar, but that does not favor time here. That favors Cure. It means it's going to be really hard for time to push out and do any counter damage. Planetaries. Two planetaries here for Cure if Time wants to try to crack the fourth or fifth base. Uh, and Time already not taking the best trade here against these two sieged up tanks and their group of Marines. He will clean it up, but Cure is looking for a counterattack? No, I think Cure should just defend. He knows his economy is significantly better. He killed the fourth CC. He killed a bunch of SCVs. And yeah, Cure pulls back, he sieges up. He's gonna pull the boys off because he knows he's ahead in that worker count as well. Oh my god, and the massive flank. I didn't even see it coming. But Cure gonna clean that army up and time has to tap out as Cure takes game number three. And we'll move on to our finals. Time looking